This is the LS1 engine that I am putting in my 66 Corvette. I've already had it in the frame along with the transmission, um, checking clearances and making rear transmission mount, making sure everything fits okay. I've got it out now because I want to make a couple changes to it before I bolt it in there permanently. Also be changing out an oil galley plug. I'll show you where that goes in just a minute and why I'm doing that. I've already taken all the bolts out of this rear cover. So this will just slide off of here. Here's what that oil galley plug looks like. It's often called a dumbbell or a dog bone. And its purpose is just to direct the flow of oil in and out of the oil filter. The oil pump is up front and pumps oil through this oil galley. It gets down here, hits the front of this plug and diverts the oil through the oil filter, comes out, back down. This is filtered oil coming back down. It flows around this uh, neck down portion of this dumbbell and on into the engine to lubricate everything. The back part of this plug just keeps the oil from shooting out the back of the block. The reason that hole comes out the back of the block was just an ease of manufacture uh, to get the hole in there to begin with. Here's the back end of the stock uh, plug, and I'm going to pull it out and show you what it looks like and why this is a better alternative. These are just a couple of little sharp scribes. I'm going to try and dig in there and pull it out. Sometimes you may have to drill a little hole in there and put a screw, and then it gives you something to pull it out with. Let me see if I can just get these in here. There we go. You can see it's just got some little grooves on it there, but the same basic shape as this one. But the problem is that's, you know, just loose in there, doesn't really seal it. It's quite a bit of slop around there. And when oil is getting pumped down through here, why well, a certain amount of that oil just comes right by here. And that causes two problems. One, it reduces your oil pressure. And two, it lets contaminants, if there are any in the oil, to get by here and go directly into the engine without getting filtered. This one here, with the O-ring on the end here, it'll fit nice and snug in there and won't allow the loss of oil pressure or contaminants to get by. And it just plugs in there, just like the other one came out. You can already see it's got kind of a snug fit. Push it on in, wiggle it around. There we go. And it is made by Improved Racing, part number EGM501, and it comes with these instructions, but you saw how easy it is to do.